My name is Sarah Sterner. We're here in my family home in Sugar Hill, Georgia. I was diagnosed with a stage one ganglioglioma brain tumor five years ago, and I was 15 years old. I have to say my favorite drummer, because he got me into it, was Keith Moon. And that's hard to explain to people in high school that your favorite drummer is a guy who died 30 years ago for, of an overdose. It's like, there's no good way to, to mention that. That didn't help my uh, high school social life. Well, that's, that's the weird, I don't know how to fit being a cancer survivor into my social life or into, into how that role plays into society. I don't really know how that works. I mean, it's, it's so awkward, like it can be awkward now when like when I meet someone new at, um, at school or something, it's like, at what point do I mention that I have had cancer? Like I don't want it to be a surprise later on. I don't also don't really, don't really want to lead with that. That's kind of weird. So it's just kind of a weird thing to casually mention that you had cancer and you went through this huge life event. I look totally normal. I usually act totally normal. I, you know, uh, no one would know otherwise. And so it's most of the time I really don't mention it unless it warrants mentioning, unless it's relevant. But sometimes I feel the need to. I mean, sometimes it's just something that I want to tell people that, that uh, you know, I, I went through this thing and, you know, it really affected me. You know, I still have a giant scar on my head that no one can see and I have titanium plates that feel kind of weird if you touch them, but I still have anxiety and, and a little bit of depression sometimes. And, and just a lot of it I've noticed is worrying about the future. I, I worry about the future a lot. and. And I know that's something that's probably really not good, but I think it's, I think that does come from cancers because I, I always, I was always looking towards having the surgery, having the brain surgery and wanting to have that done and, and just hoping for tomorrow and hoping that it would be what I wanted it to be and what I thought it would be. So I still worry about that some, quite a bit and I, I've, I try not to, but you know, there's only so much you can do to tell yourself how to feel.